All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How y'all doing, family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? <laughs> Let's talk. Check this out. I'm about to show you a video clip. It may blow some people's minds and other people. It, does, it won't affect you at all. But let's take a look at this clip and then we'll talk about it. This has relevance to everybody. Yeah, Linda, Tanika Clay requested her LexisNexis consumer file. This is it. More than 200 pages, most of it from General Motors data about her driving from the onboard computer in her car. So this is it. This is it. Hundreds of pages. Hundreds of pages. This is my LexisNexis consumer disclosure report. I'm appalled. Hundreds of pages of data on Tamika Clay's LexisNexis credit report from her Chevy Camaro. Connecting to OnStar. She's learned the OnStar system is tracking things like acceleration events, high speed events, and hard break events. And GM shared 603 of those entries with data brokers. OnStar app, you know, you're thinking safety and if, some, if it gets stolen, but certainly not spying on me and sending information to the insurance company. It's the exact same scenario described in this proposed class action lawsuit filed just one day after Clay received her LexisNexis report this month. Clay requested the report because her insurance had gone up 80%, and when she tried to shop around, an insurance broker sent a denial letter and suggested she check her LexisNexis records to see why. All this means I'm a bad insurance risk and um, hike my premiums. Your cars, you know, essentially turning into a computer and collecting data on you as you drive. Michael Brooks is executive director of the Center for Auto Safety and says technology is ahead of the law here. Right now, there are no federal laws requiring that automakers have privacy protections for their owners or cybersecurity protections on their vehicles. After the lawsuit became public, GM announced it is severing ties with two data brokers, telling us in a statement, quote, as of March 20th, OnStar smart driver customer data is no longer being shared with LexisNexis or Versic. Customer trust is a priority for us, and we are actively evaluating our privacy processes and policies. Anyone can do what Clay did, request their LexisNexis consumer disclosure report under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Never did I imagine that it would be spying on us and sending information about um, driving habits. Um, that was, that's just unbelievable. Now, we also reached out to LexisNexis, who tells us in a statement, quote, telematics-based insurance programs can be extremely valuable in helping consumers improve their driving and lower risk. We utilize various channels for consumers to request a copy of their LexisNexis consumer disclosure report and to dispute any data on their, that report that the consumer feels is inaccurate. And it's not just GM sharing data. In fact, LexisNexis in a 2020 press release said that more than 10 million cars they're getting data from, and they have contracts with five of the 10 top insurance companies. Again, you can request a copy of your LexisNexis consumer report free of charge and see if your data is being collected. Well, slap me silly and call me Sally. <laughs> Ain't that something? The cars are listening to you. The cars are collecting data on you. The cars are reporting that data to the insurance companies on you. There's people that are, man, paying more insurance because of what personal driving habits. What does that got to do with the price of tea in China, Jay? This is what it got to do with. This is what the post office is doing. This is what every major company doing. Man, y'all talking about security and privacy. Check this out. I read and read an article to you. From sex life to politics. Car driver data grabs presence, privacy nightmare, says a study. 
Drivers have been warned that cars present a privacy nightmare with vehicle manufacturers collecting extensive personal data on drivers, even including their sexual activities. A study of 25 car brands found that they all failed consumer privacy tests carried out by the internet-focused nonprofit Mozilla Foundation. Its research found that 84% of car companies review, share, or sell data collected from car owners. This is crazy. Mozilla found that all car brands reviewed, collected more personal data than necessary and personal information collected was used for reasons unrelated to the operation of the vehicle and the car brand relationship with drivers. Mozilla research suggests that six car companies can collect intimate information, including drivers' medical information, genetic information, how fast a person drives, where they drive to, and the songs they listen to in their car were also included. Nissan includes sexual activity in the data it collects, and Kia notes that it can collect information about your sex life in their privacy policy. This is crazy. Kia's privacy policy states it may process special categories of data, including information about your race, ethnicity, religious or philosophical beliefs, sexual orientation, sex life and political opinions and trade union membership. Cars can collect personal information from drivers in huge quantities from the connected services that can be found in their cars to third party sources such as online radio service, Cyrus, or Google Maps. We were worried about COVID-19 having a chip. Yo, we trip about that. The data then can be used to invent more data about you through interferences about things you like, abilities, and interests. <laughs> interests. This is this. I ain't got my glasses on. Don't talk about me. While the car industry has been focused on the shift from petrol to diesel to engines and battery electric propulsion in recent years, some analysts argue that greater disruptions is ahead as vehicles become increasingly connected to the Internet and capable of autonomous driving. This had led to the prediction of mass rise in sales of services such as music and video streaming, as well as driver assistance and self-driving subscriptions. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm not going to read the rest of this article. It's a lot, but that's crazy. So this is one of those things that I'm just putting it out there so you guys are aware. Look it up for yourself. I don't know if you guys have any of those cars that has any of those services in them, but I, I highly suggest y'all, y'all cover your radio's ears or something, cover your radio's ears, this, this is wild, I mean, it's been going on, but if it goes on in your car, it definitely goes on in your regular cell phone, what makes you think that the place we work ain't been collecting data on us, driving those vehicles, I kept telling you they were putting computers in them things, and y'all like, it costs too much, it don't cost them nothing, everybody got it now, anyway, use this information for your own personal life, though, because this is, this is interesting, boy, if my car listened to all my stuff that I did in the back seat, it would be really disappointing, <laughs> this is Jay, man, y'all have a good rest of your day. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.